Welcome to Revival Channel. In this place, we practice the Word of God. We encourage you to kindly sit tight, listen to the undiluted life transforming messages and prayers from God's servant. Don't forget to like this video. Please share this video, drop your comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell as well for new content when being uploaded. Stay blessed. Thank you. I'm moving about telling themselves that on the last day, that uh, if they are good, over, over outweigh their evil, they will go to God. It's not even about what you do, do first. Who are you? It's not, it's not what you have done that is evil. You are evil. You yourself, you are evil. So how can you, are, there's no good in you. You are evil. So before God considers what you have done, God is checking you. You are evil. You look like a demon. So how can God accept you? And there are some religions today, they say all of them will go to hellfire first. Then God will come and save them from there and people will believe it. <laughs> I've told you that this life is spiritual. Why did you laugh? You think it's not funny. You think it's funny, right? That's what some people believe. That everybody will go to hell. It's hell that God will come and check if you're good that way you're evil. He will now pick you out of hell. <laughs> God won't go to hell twice. Jesus has already gone to hell so that we won't go there. Now, if you understand this, you will know that you need a savior. Now, let's look at God's standard and just um, understand why we can never attain it. Number one, I read for you already, John 6, 63. This is God's standard. It is the spirit that quickened. It said the flesh profited nothing. The words I speak to you, they are spirit and life. So as far as God is concerned, if you are flesh, you have no profit. That is God's standard, number one. Number two, James chapter two, verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, yet offend in one, he said he is guilty of all. That is God's standard number two. God's standard number one is what? The flesh profits nothing. God's standard number two is what? If you err in one, you have erred in all. That's why I told you the liar is also a fornicator. The fornicator is also a murderer. The murderer is also an extortioner. So long as you miss one, as far as God is concerned, you have missed all. That's God's standard. God's standard number three. Romans 14, 23. Let's look at 14, 23. And he that doubted is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Are you seeing the migration? See the way God thinks. Anything you do that is not in faith, including eating, he says it's a sin. Tell me you are righteous on your own without Jesus. Do you know how many things you have done today that is not of faith? When you were afraid of how to handle your money and say, tomorrow, I don't know what will happen, you have sinned. That's God's standard. And because you, are, you say, I don't know what will happen tomorrow, let me keep this money. You are equal to a murderer. <laughs> you are equal to a fornicator because you didn't act in faith. I'm not saying there's no place for planning, but I'm saying because you are afraid and you had uncertainty in your heart for tomorrow and you didn't say, because he lives, I will see tomorrow. Rather, you have said that, oh, tomorrow, I don't know what, and fear came in. You are a fornicator. If, if, if an angel come and say, you murderer, he is correct. Because that fear is not of faith. If an angel come and say, you are a fornicator, you will argue, all my life, I have never fornicated. They will now carry you to the courts of heaven. And when you come there, you will gather your defenses and say, from a child, I never fornicated, I never murdered. They will now say, there was a time God told you to give somebody 20 naira and you were afraid that that's all you had. You didn't act in faith. Because of that, you are a murderer. You will now say, but how? They will say, if you fail in one, you fail in all. And whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Murder is sin as immorality is sin. So God considered every sin as one. He divided them so that you can understand the dimensions. But every sin is one. 
So the murderer is a fornicator. And the one who does not operate in faith is also a fornicator. You will now fall in eternity and cry forever and ever in damnation. But there are some who are wise on earth. They have judged God's standard and they know that no man can meet it. So the only man who met it, whose name is Jesus Christ, all of us run into him. He said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it therein and they are saved. Thank God I'm not a smoker, but I stay in Jesus. Thank God I'm not a fornicator, but I stay in Jesus. Thank God I'm not a murderer, but I stay in Jesus. Because there are many times that I've not operated in faith. And that act of not operating in faith can take me to hell. Because whatsoever is not of faith is what? Is sin. If you understand God's standard, every day you will thank him for sending a savior. Have you been blessed by this video? Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And always remember to connect with us. God bless you. See you in our next video. Bye.